So we want to discuss how we will change our address setting with our remote control on each one of these energizers. We have two models here, our 36, which is also like our M63 model, and then our X6i, which also resembles our i-series, the X12i, as well as the X18i. Okay, so we're going to plug these units back up. Notice on the 36 unit, the light bar is going to freeze. Okay, and that's telling us which address this unit is set to. The, the owner's manual will have a chart, and it will give you all the possible different uh, combinations of the way this light bar can possibly freeze. And so when you determine which address this unit is set to, then you're ready to go forward changing the address. Okay, so I'm going to plug up the X6i. It's a little bit different as far as determining the address setting. When we first turn it on, on our LCD screen, it'll say add 05, and that means this unit is set to address 5. So when we're changing the address on these remote capable energizers, they will accept a new address while they're in standby mode. So to get them in standby mode, we've determined the address for each one of these energizers. So what we'll do is we'll go in here on our remote handset. You push the on, this is the power button for the remote. This is the on button which turns the energizers on. So we'll push those simultaneously. That allows us to toggle through the settings. You notice that one's set for address five. Okay, so we're toggling through our menu here. We get to address five. Okay, the way you would, if your handset is not set to the same address as one of your energizers, you will take the off button and you will toggle through the 16 possible address settings, okay? So that just lets you know how to sync up your handset with your remotes. So I'm going back to address five, okay? And so when I hit the on button, that now locks it in on address five. So now we've got our handset set to address five, the Energizer, the X6i is on address five. So now I'm just gonna hit the off button. Okay, so we're in standby mode now, and now the Energizer can accept a new address. So if I wanted to change the address from five to a new address, I would then go back to my handset I would toggle. Now I want to change it to address seven. Okay, I get the address seven. Now I just push the on button. Okay, so I've used the handset to send the new address to the energizer, so I'm going to turn it off. Okay, and now when I turn it back on, notice that it'll say add seven, indicating that it is taking the new address. With our 36 joule unit, once you've gotten the unit into the standby mode, you'll use the same steps and procedures to change the address as we did with our six joule unit. Then once, you'll, once it accepts the new address, the new address will be reflected in the, uh, in the bar graph there.